Hey guys, Prince Mastodon here. I'm going to do this live commentary video for the Barbarian Invasion expansion for Rome Total War. And... Let's see, I will be doing a historical battle. I'll be doing the second historical battle. It's the Battle of Shalon. And, uh... Bad news for me. My video card, my 9800 GT video card, it, uh... It's causing my computer to overheat for some reason. So, add slip back my other video card. And I forgot the name of it, but my game lags if I record and play it at 1920 times 1080 with this video card. So I can switch it back to the other one here because I don't want to play this battle with um, with lags. So what is it? This one 1024 times 768. Let's do that. Kind of sucks. I, I probably could play this with the. Uh, with the lag, but I don't know if I want to do that. And I have a cold too, so double negative whammy here. Battle of Shalon, and uh... What do you call it? Let's put this to very hard. And I don't know what the deal is here, see this? I could have sworn the Battle of Adrianople was on this, on these historical battles. I mean, I'm obviously mistaken, but I could have sworn it was on this game. Yeah, I thought I did. Okay. And look at that, I get to be the Huns. Not just any Hun, but Attila the Hun. That's awesome. So look at his army, that's Attila right there. On horseback. And uh, he has an infantry contingent. And they represent, from my understanding, the, uh, the Ostrogoth and other Germanic foot soldiers who fought for Attila at this battle. When um when Attila fought the uh, the Romans and the uh, the Visigoths and the Elans at uh, Shalon or the Kelonian fields, it was not just your typical Hunnic army. This was a conglomeration of Huns, Ostrogoths and uh, and Gepids and whoever else. But there are horse archers present, but they're not the only element present. And um, Attila, Attila needed foot soldiers because when he started to go westward, he found out that he had to lay siege to these um, Roman fortifications, so he needed foot soldiers. These are the uh, the Visigoths allied with with the Roman-led contingent led by Aetius here. And um, yeah, he did have Alons fighting with him. Carriage Ballista? What? Those are actually a pain in the butt, but they have super long range, and they actu they're actually pretty accurate. Let's start the battle. So, ATS, he put his um, Alons in the middle of his uh, formation, because he knew from experience that Attila would put himself in the middle of his army, of his deployment. So, by putting the Alons, who fought just like the Huns, in the middle, he hoped to foil the, the step tactics that Attila the Hun's center would be using. And Aetius assumed that that would buy him enough time, you know, just to confuse Attila, so that Aetius on the left and his Visigoths on the right could destroy their respective sides at the same time and then roll up the middle. So here's my awesome army. I'm really glad that the game lets you use the Huns at the historical battle here. I'm surprised they didn't make you use ATS's troops. But you know, honestly, I like ATS and I also like Attila the Hun. I think ATS was a far better commander. But I also think Attila was a very interesting commander. I don't consider Attila to be a great commander, but I do consider him. I consider his story to be amazing to read about. What little we have of it. Oh, did you see those carriage ballistas back there? I had to destroy those. And I also want to destroy those um, horse archers that Rome has. If I do that, I should have an easy time taking on the superior Roman infantry. Oh, there he is! There's Attila right there! He has that red plume on his, uh, his little cat there. And there is a bit of a hill right there. Every wood is a place from which to release his hidden troops in ambush. Every wood? The storm crows circle overhead. The hour has come. Ooh, there's also a hill behind me, too.
All right, so here's the start of the battle. Oh, look at that! It, see, it does that again. Why does it do that? This is not the camera mode I use. See, this is the R key and this is the F key. Now, let me show you the camera mode I use. See, now, for some reason, when you when you unclick restrict camera, it switches back to m the camera mode that I use here. So now this is R and this is F now. See that big difference? That's the camera I'm used to. I think when you when you play historical battle for barbarian invasion, it automatically reverts to that weird camera thing. So my battle plan, you know, I'm not gonna fight for the hill. That'd be too obvious. I think my opponent in this battle are the game designers, and they probably expect you to fight for that hill. So let's not do the expected. Let's. Fight for the hill. No, let's fight for this hill. Yeah, we're right there. Let's do that. I have 58 minutes to destroy this Roman army here. Let's organize my troops here while I'm here. I want to put all my melee cap next to each other. Boom. And also all my horse archers next to each other. So, perfect! So I'm sliding all the way that way. And I apologize for the um, black bars on the side of this video. I just didn't want to fight this battle with lag, so... That's why I'm not playing this on full screen. I got those A-lines right there. Let's get my horse archers on these guys. I'm going to destroy these guys here. Nice. So let's put all my melee cav up here. This will, this will screw up the Roman battle plan. That's a lot of he heavy cav there. And put my infantry up here too. <laughs> they probably expect us to fight for this side, do they? Nice! I like it. So look at this these horse archers I'm destroying right now. Oh, I got them down to 28. Let's get out of there. I just want to give my infantry enough time to move up here. They're not going fast enough. Let's, let's shoot these guys over here. These goth noble warriors. Yeah, face the fury of the Huns, my friend. Let me show you what Attila looks like here. He's got this awesome red cap. See him right there? There he is. He's got that red plume on his cap, I mean. Attila. Alright, I'm, I'm not doing anything against those goth. N now I am. Alright, my infantry is getting tired running up here. Totally worth it, though. These guys are going to charge. Let's set all my cab down here to deal with these guys. He's trying to charge these step heavy spears right here. And I'm just destroying them with my archers. Well, I'm trying to. Oh, those guys are asking for trouble. Look at that. Are you serious? I'm not letting him go. Oh, he's, he's toast. Oh, wait a minute. I want to get these uh, horse archers right there. There's 16 of them. Whoops. Get out of there. What the heck? They're not moving. 
Oh, there, there's the uh, the Ostrogoth. I'm sorry, the Visigoth, the commander. Let's get Attila down here. Oh, he's gonna rout from this. Look at that. He's surrounded. That's awesome. We're gonna strike a blow against these Goths. <laughs> Dead! I can isolate these Gothic Spears right here, too. Get out of there, guys! I'm gonna smack these guys from behind. See this? And they break immediately, too. Let's go and smash these guys. What are their- those are just horse archers. I want those carriage ballistas, man. They are getting annoyed the heck out of me. Alright, let's not waste any more archers on these guys. That's a waste. Alright, so I just destroyed the the Visigothic army. Nice! Now it's just me versus the Romans now. So my infantry's exhausted, but hopefully by the time the Romans get up here, it won't even matter. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at all those those uh Visigoths running away. So now this Oh here's this is what I want. That's you know I want right there, the carriage ballista. And what is this? Federati's coming to charge. Alright, I want to get my, my heavy, or my melee cav on this level here. I'm going to turn off my archers. I don't know what- no, let's leave them on. Yeah, probably those carriage ballistas, they have extreme range, and they're pretty accurate too. So that's why I want to kill them. We got here, Federati coming. Alright, let's keep Attila out of the action. Attila did not fight on the front lines. He was not that kind of commander. What is this? Mercenary Elans. This is the horse archer. What's, what's driving back? I, w I want to give my spirits here enough time to get up the hill. Oh, these Elans are charging! Oh no, sorry, those are not horse archers. Those are just Elon, uh, what do you call it? I forgot what they're called. Nobles? Where are the, uh, horse archers at? I don't know. I want to charge these Federati right here. Alright, this is... I'm wasting my archers. I'm trying to smack these Federati. They're just sitting there. Route them, route them, route them, route them. Yeah! Here comes the Federati infantry. So far, so good. Oh, here comes the Terrage Ballista now. They're starting to make their, their presence known. Let's sneak behind and get those ballistas out. I'm charging the Palatini. Well, these Palatini are tough. Tough crackers here. Wrong way, my friends. Let's go surround these uh, Federati right there. Oh no, don't want to fight the Kamita Tenses. So 
Let's get back up here on this hill. Oh, that was dumb of me. Alright, here's a, here's a what's his face. Um, what do you call him? ATS. He's gonna get charged. I, I made a till up here. Yeah! There goes ATS. Now what? Now what now what are they gonna do? Some Palatini right there. Let's peel off some of these guys. Oh, can be the tenses here. Let's get a mass charge on these guys. The committed tenth is the ones I'm worried about, and I destroyed them. Awesome! So that's the way to take care of these guys. Let's send some of these horse archer or these horses this way. Oh boy. Let's put my infantry back in a line here. What are those? Golden band? I better charge him from behind. Just counter charge him? There's only what forty nine? What is this car this crap, sir? Skylight Palatini? They want to fight an uphill against my dudes here? Not. Not very clever. Doo 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 doo. Let's counter charge these guys. My guys are exhausted though. We'll see what happens. I got this battle. It's only a computer. Let's see what happens. They route. Of course they do. They route too, look at that! Without their general, they're nothing. I'm gonna charge them down, I don't want them to come back from routing. Alright, those are committed tenses. I'm gonna send my spears down at them. And these guys. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with my the results here so far. Federati Infantry, they are exhausted, watch this. When a, when a unit's exhausted, you can get away with a lot against them. Ooh, let's, put, let's put until the Hun versus these committed tenses here. Because they have no, no commander, they're gonna break immediately. Nice! Alright, so these are the Federati, let's see what happens. I think I can just charge them down here, because they're exhausted. Watch this. They're just gonna sit there and take it. Boom! Yeah, this is very hard difficulty. And if you can't run a unit like that, then oh my gosh. Oh, uh, we gotta watch these priests get it here. No, w w let's let Attila do it. Let's let Attila do, Attila do it. This will be fitting. Watch this, guys. Attila Hun destroys the priest here. Get him, Attila! <laughs> this time, no priest will stop Attila from his conquest. By the way, at the um, actual battle, I forgot to say this, but um, you know how they're really superstitious back in the day? Well, Attila was no different, he was pretty superstitious. Um, before battle, he had one of his seers, I guess, check out the entrails of an animal. And that seer foretold the doom of the Hunnic army. So, Attila being superstitious, also maybe being practical after seeing the Roman Visigothic army, he decided to delay this battle for as long as possible. So that when he did fight, he could possibly have the cover of, of darkness to cover his escape route in the event that they, that they did route. So, it might have been 
due to superstition, or might have just been due to the practicality of of looking at how how ferocious this Roman Gothic army looked. Look at this, the Roman troops are running this way. Oh, I will not let them escape. I'll, I'm gonna take them down. What are these guys? Yeah, there's no more ATS, there's no more Ostr sorry, Visigothic commander. He's dead. So it was ATS. Dun, 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 dun. And once again, I do apologize for running this battle on, um, what do you call it? 1020 times 768. I just didn't want to chance this battle here with the lag. Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure my my old video card, like my factory installed video card, cannot run this game on full screen without some significant lag. That's why I'm running this 1028 times 768. And what do we got here? Let's let Attila. Where's he at? There he is. This unit right here. I can let Attila deal with this unit. Actually, let's let a a horse archer unit take care of him. No, not them. What's in my elite unit here? Skull Eye, Plot and I. Dun 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 Actually, I'll let Attila deal, deal with these guys. And I'm going to save my archers for the uh, Roman infantry. I'm going to use hunt tactics to kill him. Alright, Attila, do your thing. You can't outright Attila. Boom! Seriously? Attila, you're going to... Okay, I was under the impression I shot... I mean, I turned off my, my archers, but I was obviously mistaken. They started to shoot anyways. Oh, I knew what I did. I turned him off earlier. I forgot about it. You think Attila's afraid of these Federati? I'm gonna, I'm gonna countercharge these guys here. Watch Attila die, that'd be funny. Nope, he routes them. And I'm gonna send my horse archers this way. Oh, these guys are so dead. These can be the tenses. See, I could just bum rush them, but I want to use my horse archers for something that's horse archer like. Where's my other one at? Oh, yeah, let's watch this guy. This would be great. Oh, he's got his, uh, what do you call it? Javelins. Let's put a tail on top of this here. Oh, these guys are gonna get destroyed! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, <laughs> just my just my archers are doing this to him. These guys here, victory. They, they they are cowards actually. And instead of continuing the battle, where I can just destroy them all. I'm just gonna end the battle. Heroic victory. Quite the contrast from the what happened at the actual battle of Shalon. At the actual battle, the Huns were turned back, so they left Gaul, regrouped, and then they campaigned in Italy. So the Hunnic threat was far from over, historically speaking. Anyways, what were the Huns doing in Gaul? Well, after they, you know, pretty much extorted all the money that Eastern Rome could offer, they decided to, you know, look for more wealth westward and that's how they came up against the western romans they they saw more rich pickings there but these guys were pretty shrewd and they had atius commanding their armies and atius had plenty of experience as he was a a quote unquote hostage of the huns so he knew how the huns fought so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this uh historical battle the battle of chalon or aka known as the Battle of the Catalonian Fields. Let's look at the uh, personal, or the uh, 
the battle statistics, statistics really quick. Nice, very nice. I like it. Alright, that's it. Let's end this.